Hello, this is Joe Smith, and for this project, I wanted to look at the accreditation standards for nursing colleges and universities, and particularly what does technology state for these institutions that prefer, prepare nurses and advanced practice nurses and nurse educators. I looked at the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, CCNE. It is recognized as the national accrediting body for colleges of nursing. And I decided to dive in and look at what the standards are, which are very broad and very rigorous for colleges of nursing that look specifically at what that meant for technology. Uh, fact, CCNE is recognized by the U.S. Secretary of Education as the national accrediting body. It looks at all levels of nursing education, baccalaureate, graduate, doctoral, residency programs, very broad um, organization that looks at every facet possible. And it's a voluntary self-regulatory process of a number of universities that we all work with, including ETSU, seek accreditation through CCNE. And then another thing to keep in mind, technology is a big part of nursing education. I mean, we have you can get degrees online in nursing, particularly at the master's and doctoral level. And many universities have online programs. They also have a hybrid format where you have some on ground, ground format and then also you have the online format as well. So I went through the accreditation document and I'll tell you what I found and I'll be honest with you, I was a little surprised. They address uh, technology and its standards for education. It's there. But it's included in the overall arching elements of academic support. It looks at curriculum, it looks at libraries, it looks at facilities, teaching hospitals, and technology is part of that. So there's not a lot of detail for technology other than the fact that it must be supportive of student success. There's not a lot of specifics about thou shalt um, have this element, thou shalt do that. You must have this type of technology system, at least of the institutions, to ensure that they're meeting those standards. What does it really mean for technology? What does CCNE require? Well, first of all, they say innovation is encouraged. They recognize that there are advances in technology taking place, and they encourage universities to pursue innovation to find new ways to use technology. So they definitely address the fact that this is important. It's a relative element of nursing education. They make it clear that technology must be adequate. We must have distance education. You must have technology. You must have adequate services to support students. But they go on to mention that there must be a regular review process to ensure that technology is adequate. So for example, for ETSU, a big part of our curriculum involves D2L. So what CCNE says is you, you know, D2L must be adequate and that the institution must have a review process where they look at D2L and make sure that it's adequate, that it meets the standards, that it supports the students, that there are no issues. If there are issues, it's up to the institution to correct them. But again, the, you know, the accrediting body is putting it on the universities to make sure that they're doing their due diligence in reviewing technology. And again, here the big one, you know, technology must support student success. Um, it talks about elements such as simulations in classroom and distant ed, which involves a lot of technology that institutions must ensure that the systems they have in place are adequate. Again, I just find it really interesting that they don't require certain elements. So there could be some schools that are not emphasizing technology to its highest degree, yet as long as what they are using supports the students, it's fine. I think it's really, for a lot of universities, it's almost like, well, don't buy it off more than you can handle. If you're going to have technology implemented in the curriculum, it's got to be good, but there's not a requirement that you do. So I'm wondering if that's going to change over time. I wonder if we'll see more universities that or see accrediting bodies that will get more in the lead with technology and require that schools are um, exercising this option more frequently and it's, it's more integrated into the curriculum. Here's one that I wanted to include because when I first started researching this, thinking about 
technology and the online learning environment. A lot of schools that are moving on to the online format, and I think that's great, and some of us are involved in institutions that have a strong online presence. But it's really important that if you are a school where technology um, is at a level where you're doing instruction from distance education, you must also include clinical experiences. So even though you are in an online format, the clinical element has not been replaced. I think it's important, obviously, and it makes sense for how nurses are prepared. So I think in conclusions, what we've learned here, schools and universities, they're encouraged to be innovative with technology. Hey, try new things, go for it, implement new ideas. Technology has got to support student success, and we know all that. Um, but the big one is that technology methods must be reviewed by the institutions and improvements are made. So I think that goes back and speaks to the fact that for the accrediting body, they're not going to be really particular to what elements of technology you're using. But if you are using technology, it's got to support student success. You've got to be reviewing it on a regular basis to make sure that it is adequate, that it's, it's meeting the outcomes that you have desired. Again, this was a great discussion. I think um, I think for universities, in some ways, while it might be frustrating that there are not specific requirements for technology, at the same time, they're able to at least say to themselves, if we're offering courses and if there is a technological component or we're requirements there, as long as it's adequate, it's meeting the students' needs, then it works. Do I think that'll change in the future? Do I think the universities will implement more? Yes. I think time will certainly tell. Again, thank you very much.